What's up, peeps? Cameron 92 here. And as you know, I am probably one of the world's biggest Jurassic Park fans, uh, if you've seen any of my videos. <laughs> um, and as you know, I've been doing a lot of reactions lately to trailers and clips and stuff to, like, Jurassic World, and, you know, I'm trying to do it to other movies, too. You know, trying to, you know, expand my horizons so my channel isn't completely Jurassic. I mean... I don't want people to think I'm, like, that obsessed. Okay, maybe I am. Okay. But anyways, um, I'm going to do something a little different today. It looks like Honest Trailers came out with a Honest Trailer to the Lost World Jurassic Park. And I figured I'd film my reaction to watching that. I don't know if you guys will want to see my reaction, but hey, might as well film it, you know? <laughs> I mean, you guys like my reactions, so I thought maybe film my reaction to a video. Why not? Let me just see if I can find it first. I saw it. I'm telling you, I saw it. I should have had it queued up and ready. I'm sorry. Ah, here we go. Okay. Honest trailers for the Lost World Jurassic Park. I'm interested to see what they say about this, because personally, I love it, but I think the Lost World is the weakest movie in the Jurassic Park franchise. More on that in a minute. Okay, let's watch it. From the director who managed to avoid unnecessary sequels up to this point <laughs> comes a completely unnecessary sequel. Only this time, it's the second time. The Lost World, Jurassic Park. Shouldn't that title be the other way around? No? Okay. You loved Jurassic Park for its awe-inspiring wonder, subtle yes, humor, did. and likable characters. Now, get ready for a generic runaway from dinosaurs movie <laughs> with more deaths, more dangling vehicles, and more giant practical T-Rex heads passing next to things. <laughs> Because those heads cost a ton, and Spielberg is gonna get his money's worth, damn it. <laughs> Meet a cast of humans who still haven't learned one thing from the first time. I'm not making the same mistakes again. You're making all new ones. Featuring the return of your favorite wisecracking side character from Jurassic Park. <laughs> <laughs> As a boring neurotic dad. Yeah, that hurts my feelings. Did your mom tell you to say that? That's true. Who's just there to rattle off the trailer lines. Mommy's very angry. Proving once and for all that a little gold bloom goes a long way. You'll have to get used to Dr. Malcolm. He suffers from a deplorable excess of personality. <laughs> Along for the ride is Ian's daughter. Do you see any family resemblance here? A gymnast and total slob who is personally responsible for the low point of the franchise. Hey, you! <laughs> okay, second lowest point. Alan! Oh, then, I knew they'd do that. Get to know Ian's paleontologist girlfriend, Sarah. She's the worst. Watch as this bumbling Miss Magoo constantly <laughs> harasses the dinosaurs, steals a baby T Rex that gets Toby from the West Wing killed, walks around with T Rex blood on her jacket, even though she's supposed to know better. Tyrannosaurus got the largest proportional olfactory cavity of any creature in the fossil record. <laughs> and generally makes life harder on everyone else around her. Sarah! 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 Sarah Harding! Wait, are we supposed to be rooting for the dinosaurs or the people? Stare <laughs> helplessly as the creatures who were once treated with reverence and restraint are transformed into over-the-top killing machines <laughs> where the mighty T-Rex becomes a generic monster and the claustrophobic raptor kitchen scene from the first film becomes Jurassic Benny Hill. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so try to well, enjoy good. the ride, then try to enjoy the climax to the ride that feels like it was bolted on from a different movie as Spielberg runs out of things for dinosaurs to do in the jungle and 
ships one off to San Diego for a 20 minute Godzilla parody. <laughs> an extended dinosaur money shot that we all thought had killed the franchise, but we had no idea what was coming. Alan! <laughs> Alan! Starring. Um, <clears throat> uh, yes, yes. Julianne Less, Vince <laughs> Yawn, Santa Claus, <laughs> Michaela Maroney is not impressed. Pete, post lip of weight, post lip weight. <laughs> Pots left waiting. Uh, screw it. Kobayashi, Oedipus Rex, and a whale's vagina. Too Jurassic, <laughs> too furious. <laughs> oh my gosh. Do you believe it'll be bigger and better than Jurassic Park? I can't imagine anything being bigger than that. Jurassic Park. Yeah. But I don't know it will be as good as it is. Yeah. You know? Yep, pretty much. <laughs> wow. Be sure to subscribe for Okay. Alright. That was really funny. Um, yeah, I mean, I thought The Lost World, like, you know, when I was a kid, I was just, you know, it was Jurassic Park. I loved it. But even then, I felt like The Lost World was kind of, it kind of lost something. You know, the first movie, it just really captured that magic. You know, it was just like, wow, like, this is awesome. And the characters were so funny and just like, likable and then the second movie i mean it's kind of weird how like ian malcolm was so like goofy in the first one and then so serious in the second one i mean i can understand you being more serious after all that you went through in the first movie but still i mean come on lighten up just a little bit i still like the lost world don't get me wrong and jurassic park 3 um a lot of people didn't like that one either but i liked it but anyways, uh, yeah, that was my reaction video to the Honest trailer of The Lost World. Figured I would film my reaction to that since this is like Jurassic Week and I'm so close to Jurassic World, I'm so freaking excited and I've really been talking a lot and I'm really thirsty, so I'm gonna get going. <laughs> Alright you guys, I'll see you later. Camera K92 signing out. For real.